that off in the Red Mills Grade 2 chase over two and a half miles, a short run to the first of 14 fences and setting off to make the running the odds on favorite Mellon, followed by Daily Tiger, Hardline in the white cap and held up a sizing potsy. Continuing up the back straight to fence number two, a couple more to take them across to the straight the first time and it's Mellon bowling along, three and a half in front of Daily Tiger, who had to really stretch for that in second, and third is Hardline, sizing Potsy last of the four. Continuing uphill towards the third fence before the straight, and out in front is Mellon, leading the chicken house stud duel, Daily Tiger and Hardline, sizing Potsy the back marker, and a tad slow there at the back of the field. Good run on the flat, back to the three fences in the straight. The leader is Mellon and Paul Townend, but not so far ahead of Daily Tiger and Sean Flanagan disputing second place with Hardline and Brian Cooper in the white cap. Four to five lengths to Sizing Potsy and Robbie Power. Coming across to the straight to fences four, five, and six. Mellon the leader from Daily Tiger, Hardline and Sizing Potsy a little bit closer in last place as they set their sights on one of three fences before the stands. Mellon the leader from Daily Tiger, Hardline and Sizing Potsy. The order unchanged, reaching the first fence in the straight. Mellon, a couple of lengths in front of Daily Tiger, matching strides with Hardline. Over three lengths to the back marker, Sizing Potsy. Over the first of three ditches, Mellon leads Daily Tiger, Hardline and Sizing Potsy. Coming to the fence nearest the stands in the last one next time and the Red Mills chase. Mellon jumped that better than he did the ditch. Leads Daily Tiger, Hardline and Sizing Potsy. Coming up to the post with the circuit to go and eight more fences left to jump. It's Mellon in front, has found winning hard to come by at the top table. Consequently, dropped a notch in grey this afternoon. Takes them towards the halfway stage with a lead of just over a length from Daily Tiger, Hard Nine, and Sizing Potsy. Still in the same order from the time they left the starter. Mellon, two and a half in front of Daily Tiger and Hard Nine. The back marker remains Sizing Potsy. Heading up the back straight to their next plain fence before the second ditch. Mellon the leader, jumped it well from Hardline on the inside of Daily Tiger, sizing Potsy, last of the four. On to the second ditch, this fence seven from the finish. They're inside the halfway point now. Mellon, another proficient jump, leads Hardline. The outsider of the four, just second from Daily Tiger, and the back marker remains sizing Potsy. They've passed their point of departure. Sketchy jump by Hardline at that one. Going to the next up the back. Mellon yet to be headed, followed by Daily Tiger, Hardline, and sizing Potsy. Still seeing them all from the back of the field as they jump the next up the far side where Daily Tiger was greatly outjumped for the second by Hardline, who's now within a length and a half of Mellon. Sizing Potsy is joining Daily Tiger at the back. Four fences left to jump, and it's Mellon lobbing along, less than two lengths in front of Hardline. Daily Tiger's wrestled back to third, but yet the second, Sizing Potsy, the back marker. Less than five furlongs to go, three fences left to jump. Mellon by two. To Hardline, rejoined for second by Daily Tiger. Very much in touch as Sizing Potsy. As they enter their final half mile, they've three fences left to jump and the Red Mills Grade 2 chase. Mellon, Paul Townend, tracked in by Daily Tiger, Sean Flanagan. In third and nudged along Hardline and Brian Cooper with the back marker, where he's been from the outset, Sizing Potsy under Robbie Parr. Turning into the final three fences, and Mellon appears to be turning the screw a little. Coming to the third last, Mellon over towards the near side over from Daily Tiger. Hard line, a mistake by sizing Potsy. 
Coming down towards the second last, the final ditch, and it's Mellon in front. From on the left hard line, the Daily Tiger and Sizing Potsy. One fence left to jump in the Red Mills chase, and it's Mellon in the lead and coasting to the last. From hard line, Daily Tiger and Sizing Potsy, and Mellon is safely over the last, has a widening advantage over hard line in third Sizing Potsy, and then Daily Tiger. Mellon is clear up towards the finish. It's a back to winning four Mellon over fences in the Red Mills chase. Second Sizing Potsy in third hard line, and the fourth and last one to go by.